Hello from Idaho. I strive to provide interesting videos about motorcycles, fabrication, welding, electronics, machining, and general creativity. I hope you enjoy. Hello from Idaho. Probably like you, my life has been taken over by batteries. I need to charge batteries for GoPros, three axis gimbals, heated gloves, a uh, lighted uh, camera ring, the uh, Bluetooth in my helmet. And I'm not talking about all my cordless power tools or even so much about phones and tablets, but I just have lots of things that have batteries in them that need to be charged. And so I see a little corner of the bathroom vanity and plug it in or I put it in the bedroom or whatever. Well, I'm kind of tired of that. So I'm going to make a dedicated universal battery charging station. And I'm no woodworker. So I'm starting out with these little bamboo boxes from Amazon. They're a 12 by 9 by 4. And the plan is to cut two of them down to two inches. And one will hold this six place USB charger. And so it'll have room for, you know, I've got a I've even got a battery powered personal flashlight that needs to be charged. I literally have batteries in dozens of things and so those USB things will be charged here. This will be cut down to two inches. That'll be sort of a top shelf. The next shelf down will be cut to two inches and it'll have this six outlet uh, surge protector type uh, thing in it because many of my many of the devices I have that need charged come with their own little wall wart and so um, they're not they're not USB and so um, I need some place to plug in a wall wart and then have this like my like my uh, heated gloves for my motorcycle they have a wall wart and then they plug into the lithium pack and so that's the kind of thing that will charge in this second shelf. And I'll probably plug this thing into here so that I have one master power switch. And then the bottom box, I'm not going to cut down. That's going to be a drawer. And so what I'm planning is something that looks like this with, uh, with sides and then some sort of cable management. I have this uh, quarter inch Baltic birch remnant left over from making a robot lawnmower body. And so it's good, it's good the material and I've got enough to make the sides and whatever I need. Um, out of that and so it ought to be pretty easy for me to cut out the sides and a bottom and get it all assembled since these things are such a nice little unit that anyway that's my plan for not being a woodworker we'll see how it goes okay I'm starting off with a little bit of tough luck one of the boxes came completely apart when I uh, first took it out of the packaging and so I'm having to re-glue all of its corners. The other two boxes are still together, but I'm going to reinforce. It looks like they're put together with little pin nails and nearly no glue. The one that came apart didn't have any glue in it. So I'm starting off by rebuilding my boxes, but this too shall pass. Okay, I'm about to cut down my Amazon boxes to two inches. Thank <laughs> you. 
okay we have our two inch boxes <clears throat> now I'm gonna do a little mock-up and see if the see what the proportions of this thing ought to be so I've got a pole here and a clamp so we know there's a we know there's a full-size drawer on the bottom and then this two inch shelf and then another two inch shelf and my only concern is this one ought to be high enough so that hooking stuff up here isn't really a problem and there is about nine inches so if I did that Let's try that. Take a look at it. I often draw up a set of plans and then uh, adjust some of the dimensions before I build because proportion and scale is easier to see in real life. I don't like to leave the whole design up in the air because I like the <clears throat> I like the uh, flexibility in a CAD system and how easy it is to uh, generate angles and uh, cut lists and whatnot. So there is nine inch spacing. <clears throat> that certainly seems like enough to get in here let's try something about 8 inch spacing okay that's right at 8 walk around that and see how it looks that's certainly still enough space to get in here I'm going to keep going down until I I uh, get to a, a number that I don't like because uh, I don't want this thing to be a monstrosity on a table. So there's seven, seven inches of spacing. And I think that's what I'm going to use. Here's my little power supply. And if I plug something into it, that's certainly easy enough with seven inches of space. And most of the things I have to charge aren't that big. The batteries come out of my gloves. I've got uh, flashlights and headlights and personal lights and, uh, you know, uh, a uh, beard grooming tool and a whole bunch of stuff but I think that's I think that's enough space so we're going to call it seven inches now we're going to mark out our sides Those of you that didn't grow up with manual uh, uh, drawing of, of uh, 3D and 2D whatnot on drafting tables might not know what this is, but this is called a French curve. And it allows you to uh, be creative with curves. Um, need to figure out what you want first. So ideally, I'd like this to come back in 
maybe this far. So, so here's my two inches up there. This misses the handle and it matches the, uh, okay, I'm using the French curve up to this mark. All right. All right, so we're gonna draw this line in. And then we'll smooth this transition a little bit. So there we could go. All right, I'm no woodworker and I'm no graphic artist, but that's what this particular project is going to look like. Now comes the part where these small tabletop table saws have their have a major limitation, and that is in doing any sort of accurate cross cut. They come with a fairly accurate uh, slide, T slide. Anyway, as I was saying, there's quite a limit on these small table saws because the uh, table isn't long enough here. I wish they would bias the blade back as far as they can and give me another, give me another three or four inches here. Okay, we're about to cut out the little contour. Uh, I'm cutting both sides at the same time. So I've decided that I'm going to have my cables all run towards this side and out the back. So now I need to mark for a hole in this corner.
something like that. This cable is going to run down the back side of the side piece and plug into one of these outlets. And that way I have a master switch for the whole apparatus. And I don't have to find, I don't have to plug in two things for uh, one charging station. Okay, time for some glue up. If I were a woodworker, I would just uh, apply the glue, put some pin nails in it, put the next shelf in, put the next shelf in, put the top on. But I don't have a pin nailer, but I do have some patience. So I'm just going to glue it one joint at a time. Okay, fabrication is done, and I've got quite a few things mocked up in there. I don't have the wiring completed yet, and so I still need to finish it and wire it, but the YouTube algorithm waits for no man, and so I thought I would show it kind of loaded up. So I've got uh, a GoPro and a gimbal and a personal light and a Canon uh, Sure Shot and a beard trimmer and the batteries out of my heated gloves. I have lots more batteries than this, but this just kind of an example. The wiring will get cleaned up when I order some short one foot uh, cabling. But anyway, this is what it is. The, uh, the drawer can hold all kinds of stuff when not in use, and it works pretty well. The surge protector, outlet strip um, I bought it specifically so because it has wide spacing and uh, it works pretty well and then above um, you may be able to see my screw up I uh, cut my hole from my power wire over here but the inlet is over here when the USB outlets are facing forward. So I will have to duplicate another hole right here. And I'll just probably leave that one. But anyway, that then the wiring for the top can run down this side and plug in here. So here's a look from the back. The side that no one will see I once it's finished I'll put a stop on it so that the drawer can't go all, all the way through but uh, I'm reasonably pleased uh, woodworking aside I uh, like I say I'm no woodworker and I do just enough so my woodworking skills are more suited to framing a house or making a boat not making furniture but uh, anyway, I'm pleased with this. I think it's going to work. It's not incredibly ugly, but I wouldn't call it handsome either. At any rate, goodbye from Idaho. Thanks for watching. 
As usual, if you like or dislike my video, please select the appropriate button and let me know why. I really appreciate comments and I will answer every one. If you're new to my videos, please select the subscribe and the notification bell to get more videos like this.